What's up guys, it's Angelica Lumia with Pacific Rim Video and we're here at the Know Your Rank workshops and I have one of the fabulous teachers. Hi. Fabulous, why not? Hi. Hey, <laughs> Jonathan Bionic, what up? Dude? What's going on? You know I've always wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. how did you get the name Bionic? Okay, not even with dance, it was from sports. Ah. Excuse me with the cheese pizza. It's okay. Hold on, one second. One second. <laughs> While I'm chew, saying, I'm telling Pacific Rim, one second, my bad. Hold on. <laughs> He's telling us to, you know what? <laughs> Wrap it up. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, oh. um, when I was playing sports, mm -hmm. I was pretty much like the smallest guy. Uh -huh. I mean, I was, I'm a tall Filipino, but I'm just saying, out of all the football players on my team, I was the smallest guy, so I was still whooping. Coach called me a bionic because I was, I was able to hang with the big boys. Aww. And the thing is, when I started getting the name, I really. Like after a while, it started me being like meaningful to me, so I started having to live up to that type of a name. So like whatever I do, I have to put all out. You know what I mean? Go ahead now. All right. Well, let's talk about your style and your workshop. So you did um, your specialty is popping, right? Yeah, popping. All right. Well, tell the viewers what exactly is popping. Like, what are the fundamentals? Like, what's the history? Um, well, you know, most most of the time people kind of put breaking and popping together. And popping is a West Coast dance, so it's a really funky dance. And the attitude and the way that you approach it would be like this, not like, you know what I mean? Right. So it's a, it's a whole different mindset and a different attitude. You can put locking and popping together. Right. And it's just like the funk era. The music during that time was just about funk and feeling good. It wasn't really like a battle dance. It was mm -hmm. just a dance to get down and have fun. Yeah. When you do this, it's sort of like a transitional thing. Boom. That. So the thing about popping, what I was doing now is that nowadays what you see is like there's a lot of finger tuts and tutting and things like that, which is cool, but it, it's kind of like it changes the perspective. Like people, like when you see people do routines, it's like they'll be dancing and grooving and some of them get to the popping routine, it's just like... I mean, a popping routine, so it looks right. robotic and it loses the essence, you know, the right. funk. So, like, what I try to do is I like to put the fun and the dance back into the popping. I like that. I mean, and today, as far as your workshop, it was more just teaching that, right? Not so much, like, routine kind of thing, right? Yeah, I just freestyled and then, I mean, I put the routine together by today. Right. So I was having a little bit of problems with it, but it was okay. <laughs> I was able to teach it. I taught a lot, actually, for choreography today. But I just wanted to teach the movement and the way that you move with popping. Just like with any dance, a lot of things become uh, it's not educated right. You know what I mean? Right. It's not always like put out right. And I don't blame anybody. You know, it's just the way it's put out and people love the way it looks, so people want to do it. Thing is, if you really want to get serious about popping, that's just one style of popping. You know what I mean? That's, it's like it should be sparingly used, not in itself like when I see uh, people doing tutting and like finger tuts and stuff like that I just think it's overdone sometimes right. you know what I mean right. and I'd rather see it them embrace more of the other popping styles right. you know and it I mean? should be more of like a surprise kind of like an added yeah. thing you know? yeah okay just like if you do like move it should be like used sparingly like glides if someone's gliding the whole time <laughs> do you want to just see that the whole time right. yeah after a while you, okay okay you're the glide guy you want me to clean my floor real quick you know? <laughs> exactly. put some Windex on your shoes no, I'm just I'm just playing. <laughs> I mean, as far as you, yourself, do you have anything com coming up or Supreme Soul? What's going on? Uh, lately, I've just been working like on a one-man show. Um, I've been doing actually a piece which has been dedicated to one of my, uh, one of the members of my crew a long time ago that passed away. Her name is Tapu. So I've been actually working on that. Um, but right now, there's a lot of things. There's uh, the Wiki Dojo where we teach. Okay. It's like a little underground class that we have for uh, a lot, a lot of serious kids, and we do it like straight out of a garage, like nice. the old school style. But it's been effective. Plug it. Yo, wiki dojo at gmail.com. W I K I dojo, D O J O, uh, at gmail.com. What's the name? Where's that from? Wiki. Well, it sounds like the spot that we live at, okay. they live at, it's Wilkie. Okay. But they just call it the Wiki because it's. Okay. Yeah. Like, I think of like Wikipedia. Yeah, it sounds like that. Yeah, though. get some knowledge. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. Do your research. <laughs> and uh, I actually have a brand I'm coming out with for dancers. So people that miss wearing jogging pants and things like that and shorts and stuff like that, don't worry. I'm gonna, miss wearing jogging like, pants? Like just to wear casually. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it. Just think about the Jordan insignia. Okay. But it's going to be a different type. It's going to look like the Jordan insignia. Why? Because, you know, like, you don't, you don't want to go to, like, some, like, show and then you're just, like, in jogging pants. And it's right. just, like, you know So you're I mean? trying to, like, make it... You know, like it's fun to wear again. Right. Fun to wear jogging pants and I like shorts. Like yeah. You should bring in like some other old, older styles. Old like, styles like I don't know. Like make something cool. Like make wearing socks with flip flops cool. 
Oh, that's horrible. Striped socks. <laughs> Striped socks. Yeah. Argyle. Argyle. I'll bring Argyle back. How about that? No, that's never going to come back again. That's gone, gone. I love that. No, when is that going to come out, though? Um, you're give, just, it you're in, let's give it a couple okay. months. Give it a couple months. But I got the logo already. There Where's you the go. Where's the shirt at? The hey, get a shirt. Right here. Paying homage to James Brown. So it's right here. Oh, I like that. So look out for that. You know, and it kind of look has like a Jordan. Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't great, bite. great. Don't, don't bite. bite. Don't. It's mine. <laughs> well, you got so, trademarks and everything. So don't there you go. Or he will go after you. You know, Johnny Cochran. Going down, downtown. Down, down, Jay Sean. No, I'm just playing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Jonathan Bionic, Angelica Lumia, Pacific Rim Video. Go finish your pizza. Uh,